so we actually got some more information on project mugen the official channel just released a new video it's called disclosure of production and information hopefully they'll go over like you know some like dev talk about the game how it's going how the development's going the production's going because i'm very excited about this game like i want to know all about it like, you know i want to like be in the know about it you know be on the bandwagon so let's see if it was was a naked naked rain that's what it was so I said to introduce our new game, Project Mugen. Play as an investigator searching for chaos. Yeah, we got a phone, okay. <laughs> Life has experience freely exploring over the hand. Freaking Spider-Man. Oh, see, I love this. I love seeing the behind the scenes stuff. Nice. So they're going, they're trying to capture like the free, freeness aspect. Swinging, grappling, swimming, riding, driving. <laughs> Alright, okay. High mobility 3C system? Ooh, I love the sound of that. That's, that's our engine. 另外, 展现生动的都市生活也是我们始终努力的方向. The urban life. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> I like how like wacky it is. Huh. Wow, that just out did oh. Can actually interact with cats. Okay. They really want to make you feel like you're in the world. Peekaboo with cats. So everybody can do telekinesis? This video is really nice. Like, I like this a lot. Like, call me a nerd, but I just love videos like this where they actually show the behind the scenes and they show how they're actually making the geometry of the map and how they're actually producing, like, the graphics and, you know what I mean? How they're actually building it from the ground up. You know, showing like the DLL files and all that kind of stuff. So just literally showing how they're making it from the ground up, you know. So love to see videos like that. But yeah, what they're trying to capture with this game, at least what they told us so far, is just like the free flow kind of feel, you know. Like, as he mentions uh, a little bit later, he talks about how you can move and do a lot of different things all in the same kind of cycle. Um, I think it's, yeah, right here. It says movement like swinging, grappling, swimming, riding, and driving are integrated into a single intuitive system. So everything will pretty much feel continuous instead of feeling like it's, okay, now you're swimming. Okay, now you're doing this. Okay, now you're grappling. Like, it's not going to feel like you're forced into one thing at a time. You can just kind of jump from thing to thing. They also mentioned their highly mobility 3C system, um, which I believe they were actually talking about more specific to the mobility in itself and not so much the engine of the whole game. But yeah, this is just like a new IP, you know, and that's what always really jumps out to, to gamers like myself when a new IP is out, because like that's just something that feels completely different and feels completely new. So and that's the thing, too, man, like. Have you ever played a video game where it just felt good to play? Like, it's kind of hard to explain. Like, 
but the controls right the controls are tight the controls are re responsive like the game runs smoothly it just kind of feels satisfying and, and gratifying to actually just be playing the game it's really hard to explain that feeling but i hope they can capture it with this you know because like they have they have like i said you know the fluidity of moving around and stuff like that kind of like sunset overdrive did it a while back um so yeah, yeah stuff like this you know i hope that this is seamless it's fluid it's smooth to where like you know it'll just kind of give you that dopamine rush where like you just enjoy running around and jumping around and stuff like that i hope that's what it does it's very hard to capture that in video games you know but i hope they can do it with this i hope it'll just be it'll just feel gratifying to run around and do this type of stuff you know even if you're not even trying to get anywhere you know, you're just doing it to do it you know that's when you know you have a satisfying feel for a game when you're just doing stuff to do things like you don't even have a reason behind it you're just doing it to do it and they also mentioned that everything in the world like in the environment can actually be altered with so like everything is interactable you know things will go flying things can ragdoll you know things can go you know off the building like you can actually move and I guess use telekinesis and pick up whatever you want. I guess all the characters can do that, you know, but basically like nothing is stagnant. Everything can be moved around. You can push things out the way, you know what I mean? Um, I also think I saw like there was like ragdoll as well. Like enemies have ragdoll. Ooh, and there he, she just grappled on to the enemy, <laughs> like grappled the enemy and pulled towards him. Yep, there's a ragdoll. So there's a ragdoll, you know, there's a lot of like a lot of intricate things in this, which is nice. You can actually go in and play games and whatnot. Games in the game. <laughs> They're going with the urban lot, urban life effect. It, it's a change of pace because, you know, a lot of the games that we have now that are open world are either, you know, some are city centric, but a lot of them end up being like, you know, wait, like wastelands or like Genshin where it's like, you know, the forest area and then you have this area and the desert. And, you know, so this one's just very urban very modern but enough of me rambling on the point is looking forward to this and um yeah let me know if there's any information on in this game at all you can pick up the cats and play with them stuff like that but yeah any information about this game you know i am all ears i'm trying to be like on a bandwagon with this game i really want to like know everything about it so looking forward to it and yeah i'm happy for just a new new feel new ip and I'm glad they're giving us a little tease, a little something, you know. This probably won't come out until, like, hopefully next year. But, yeah, you know, definitely take your time on it. Don't rush it. And I hope it's good, you know. Hopefully we can have something, something new and fresh to jump into. But that'll be all for me. I will catch you guys in the next one.